Where's Joe? Right <laughs> okay, good. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Planning and Development Committee meeting. Uh, it's Monday, February 9th, 2015. It is uh, 7.50 p.m. Uh, we have a quorum. Uh, first item on the agenda is approval of regular meeting minutes of January 26th, 2015. Is there a motion? Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Uh, any corrections or changes? Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. And then items for consideration. First is P1, approval of 2015 Open Communities Landlord Tenant Program. The Housing and Homelessness Commission and staff recommend approval of a $35,000 renewal grant to Open Communities to continue the Evanston Landlord Tenant Program through December 31st, 2015. Funding is provided by the City's Affordable Housing Fund. And that is for action. Who's, who's moving? I didn't move it. Uh, Alderman Rainey, did you move it? You moved and seconded. <laughs> which <laughs> let's which which is moved. Okay. All right. Now Alderman Grover is seconding. Okay. Is there any discussion on this? Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Okay. Second item is Ordinance 18015, granting a special use for a wholesale goods establishment for few spirits at 2308 Main Street. The Zoning Board of Appeals and City staff recommend the adoption of Ordinance 18015, granting a special use permit for a wholesale goods establishment for few spirits in the C1 Commercial District. The applicant has complied with all zoning requirements and meets all of the standards for a special use for the district. It's for introduction. Alderman Wynn moves approval. Okay. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. P3 is resolution 15R15, designated, designating 1823 Church Street, uh, the Morris Cultural Center. Staff recommends approval of resolution 15R15, which would designate the property located at 1823 Church Street, formerly known as the Buku Cultural Center, the Morrison Cultural Center, named for Dr. William H. Doc Morrison, and that is for action and Joe McRae is here tonight for a presentation. Good evening, uh, Chair Fisk and members of the committee. Joe McRae, Deputy City Manager and uh, Director of Parks Rec Community Services. Uh, happy to be here before you tonight to talk to you about our newest acquisition, the uh, Gibbs Morrison Cultural Center, formerly known as Buku. I'm going to give a brief uh, presentation because I know you all have a lot to work to do uh, tonight, but I want to give you a brief overview of this project uh, and how we see it going forward. And then uh, we'll come back to you at a later date with more detail. Uh, so the resolution before you tonight for approval comes at the recommendation of staff uh, and Alderman Holmes uh, to rename the uh, center that's currently known as Buku uh, in honor of two prominent African-American business owners at that location, uh, Dr. Williams, uh, Dr. William uh, Morrison, who owned a pharmacy at that location for 30 years, and uh, Mr. Thomas Gibbs, who operated a gas station at that corner uh, for many years as well. Uh, update on the process, the city acquired this building in January. As we all know, it's located at the 1800 block of uh, Church and Dodge right there at that corner. Uh, Parks, Recreation, and Community Services has been tasked with operating uh, and programming for that building. And so we would do so out of our Community Services Division. Uh, we are currently working on developing budget and staffing uh, for that location. And obviously, we'll come back to council with that and working quite diligently with our friends at Public Works uh, to make the necessary repairs on the building. And so uh, I have uh, Mr. Mayworm here with me if need be, uh, but I suffice it to say that they're working diligently uh, to make sure that that building is up to shape. Uh, we would like to have a uh, special naming event this month, uh, February 28th, the last day of the month, to uh, recognize Black History Month and also uh, the uh, new name uh, for that particular space. And then we will formally open up this space in June. Uh, the building is approximately 5,000 square feet with, with wooden floors, exposed brick, a, a commercial kitchen, a, a music studio space, and a fenced-in backyard area. Um, when you talk about our plans for it to be a cultural center, you know we would like to try to provide cultural, educational, and recreational programming for the space. Uh, some potential programs include dance classes, artistic or exhibit, exhibits small concerts, performance arts, movies, uh, some health and fitness classes, gardening. Uh, the music studio that was there before was a, uh, a uh, very popular item. 
Uh, we'd like to see if we can bring that back and also have some of our youth and young adult outreach uh, programs out of that space. We'd also like to uh, outfit it with Wi-Fi and kind of operate a little bit of an internet cafe there to the extent possible for the community to enjoy. Uh, of course, with all of our centers, we do rentals, and so we would look at uh, the potential for rentals at, at this particular space, uh, given the actual space size being smaller than other, our other rec centers. Uh, but you could do uh, some things with weddings and business and community meetings, uh, retreats, and possibly uh, dances uh, for middle school students. Uh, but we won't do this alone. Obviously, we have to look to partner to collaborate. That's kind of the mold of our department. Uh, we would look at, we've already been in talks with the Everson Public Library. We talked some with Shorefront. Uh, I've had some casual conversations with uh, uh, my counterparts at the McGill YMCA. And uh, obviously, we've uh, mentioned the idea to District 202 and 65 as well. Uh, so next steps, uh, Public Works will continue to address the building concerns. Uh, they are there. If you see the lights on, it's probably Public Works doing work in that building, uh, and they're doing a good job of it uh, in an effort to get us ready for February and then for a grand reopening in uh, June. Uh, we will continue to work with Wally uh, on the operational budget, and we'll be bringing that back to council, obviously. Um, we're going to look at doing a, a letter of intent or an RFP for the kitchen to get a vendor. The hope would be to try to get a local uh, vendor, someone that could come and uh, operate that uh, space um, so it continue to be utilized. And I've already talked about the uh, event and our anticipated uh, opening. And with that, uh, that completes my presentation. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so Joe, what we're doing is we're, um, we're going to approve the name Gibbs Morrison yes. Cultural Center. It, okay. Okay. I was going to, I was going to make the amendment. Um, the the information that we had before, just so you'll understand the process that we went through. Um, we did talk to uh, the the more Doc Morrison was recommended to us. We thought it was a great idea and began to put that through the community. Um, and it was great and everybody was happy about it. And then someone, we, I went to one of the senior meetings at the Foster Senior Club and uh, someone who had worked there dipping ice cream for Doc mentioned that, well, what about Gibbs? Because they were on the Dodge side. So you have to, the way it is, it's sort of like a triangle down Dodge. And, and what about Mr. Gibbs, uh, who opened that gas station? He was uh, a franchise for Sinclair. You all remember the little green dinosaur? Okay, they have a picture with the dinosaur as well, so we're going to get that. Um, Mention that, and I, which I thought was a great idea, and then began to bounce that back again. So we didn't have all of the information. Uh, one of his relatives is here tonight, just actually brought us some of the stuff tonight. So, but we would really like for it to be the Thomas Gibbs uh, Doc William H. Morrison Cultural Center. Um, Alderman Grover? Was there a shorter name than the? Well, it would be Gibbs, Gibbs Morrison. Morrison. Gibbs Morrison. <laughs> Gibbs Morrison. Great. Right. GMC. So, uh, Mr. Director McRae, is it closed now? Right now it's closed. It is closed. It's the only activity yes. in it is our public works staff. It's uh, our facilities maintenance crews, and they're uh, working on the building, trying to bring it back up to code. It's been vacant for how long? It's yeah. been idle? Over uh, a year. Over a year, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's over, like, over a year. Space. And we've got good neighborhood community support for this, for a city-operated cultural center. In that, at that location in that building? We and believe do you, we do. Yeah. If you remember, just to remind you, we went through a whole process um, last year um, trying to make sure that we got all the community input that we could uh, get, uh, as well as trying to get community groups who would really want to take it over. We were not able to do that, and we had to move on to Plan B, which is where we are now. I would, I, mean, I would just say that, just to add on that, you know, every one of our buildings that we have, uh, since I've been fortunate enough to be in this position, and I think even prior to me, uh, we do it with the community in mind. And so this is uh, their space. We will do programming that uh, is welcoming and inviting to the entire Evanston community. Hopefully something that everyone can be proud of. Great. Looking forward to events at the formerly known as <laughs> Gibbs Morrison Center. The Gibbs Morrison Center? Gibbs Morrison Cultural, Cultural Center. Cultural Center. Gibbs Morrison Cultural Center. Thank you. Alderman Rainey? Well, it seems, seems to me that we have something similar 
to a cultural center and probably one of the most active community centers in the city at Fleetwood Jourdain. We have one of the best high schools in the country uh, diagonally across the street. It would seem to me that in that location, there is a real need for some kind of retail, grocery, uh, drugstore chain, something that people in the community can walk to. And I am really surprised that we're going to repeat exactly what was there and failed. Um, you know, the music center, the this mm -hmm. center, the that center, the cafe, all failed. And I, I, you're probably going to tell me it's because of who ran it. I, I don't know that. But the fact is it failed. And I, I thought that when we purchased this, if I, I'm, I wasn't even sure that we were going to purchase it, but when we did, that we would put it out to the open market and, you know, do a... RFP, a proposal for ideas for there, um, but we didn't. So I'm, I'm really surprised. If, if a public body was going to buy that building, District 202 should have bought it. I mean, it, it, just, it, it just makes perfect sense to me that that high school should have bought that property and extended some of their programs into there. Why would we have middle school dances there when the high school is across the street? I mean... <laughs> I think, if I may, if I may, I think that, uh, you know, there'll be a, a culmination of uh, different types of programming there. Uh, I, I'm probably not the right person to make, you know, comments about uh, the previous uh, ownership and management. I, I can't speak to that. What I can say is that we will be... Uh, but you can say it failed. <laughs> I, can, I can say that... <laughs> it was close. I, I, what, I, what, I, what I can't say is that we will be thoughtful and responsible in our operation of it. Um, but we, we have no, uh, I, I'm not going to say that it's going to be open 24-7, 365 right now. I think we have to look at what's available and uh, what works. And, and this is not a uh, final uh, business plan by any means. We thought it was important to come to the council and to the community and say, uh, we have this facility uh, the city has intentions on trying to do something positive for uh, that particular uh, location and something that will help to stabilize that uh, particular location as well. And there is a multitude of things uh, that can be done there, and it can appeal to a multitude of different uh, demographics in town. And so uh, we have more sessing out of a plan to do, and, and I agree we'll, we will do that. Well, I think um, the naming is a fabulous idea. But I think to target it as a cultural center, that's another issue. I think it needs some retail right there. Um, Alderman Rainey. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I think we had Alderman Rover first okay, and then Alderman Holmes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just quick. I was, I was interested, too, ultimately in the budget for operations for the center, but perhaps it depends upon the involvement of the partners that we're hoping mm -hmm. to involve. So I think uh, in the center of to bring programming there. So the city wouldn't be solely responsible for all of the programming correct. in the center. We well, would, the library correct. would be. We're going to look to partner. <laughs> <That's our> partner. <laughs> yeah. Library would be one of our could be one of our potential partners, but not solely. And uh, there's a would, fabulous library right across the street. <laughs> ridiculous. Anyway. Well, I think it's important uh, that we we've tried to be more collaborative over the uh, last uh, year and a half, two years, and I think that there are some opportunities to collaborate there. Uh, we will pursue those, so we will not be the uh, sole programming of the building. Uh, we would try to work collaboratively, bring other programs there that appeal to a multitude of individuals. Um, I just wanted to say, Alderman Ringy, that um, you're absolutely right. It would be wonderful if we had a, uh, you know, had someone who had those kind of thoughts in terms of putting some retail, some commercial in there. Um, if we go back to the um, Fifth Ward Master Plan, we would know that this was not a part of that plan. However, we are where we are, and we can't afford, I don't think, as a community to have that corner stand empty any longer. And since we own the building, we may as well do something with it. But my hope would be is that once someone sees that it can be a successful program can be run there, whatever it is, that maybe we will have um, someone interested in coming and purchasing it from the city similar to what's happened on Howard Street. That would be my thought. That would be my hope. But it's going to be a cultural center. You don't get people wanting, you know, that you're... But that doesn't mean it has to be that forever. Oh, okay. All right. All okay. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, anyone else uh, want to comment on this? Okay, um, I don't think we have a motion on the floor. Would someone like to make a motion? Is the motion to change the name, right? Yes, yes. Motion, no. is motion is to change the name. Motion is to change the name. program or anything? Absolutely not. Change. It's just, just name, name it. The name. So I'm Gibbs Morrison. Gibbs Morrison. Mm -hmm. Is, is well, there I a second? And I'm second. second. Okay, all right, we've got a Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought exactly. motion. Oh, okay, and that's for action tonight. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, um, Mark, are there any items for discussion tonight? No, I don't have anything. Uh, communications? No. Okay. <laughs> and is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Okay, City Council will begin in 10 minutes at 8.15. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>